memory plays a very important role in the field of cognitive psychology. And so I wanted to take a minute and uh, describe to you why memory is so interesting. So in the first slide here, you can see that there's some very basic components of memory, right? The first thing you need to do is get information into your brain. We call that encoding, You're getting it in there. The second bit you need to do is to keep it in there, to store it, we call that storage. And the third stage is, well, when you need the information, you need to be able to pull it out, and that's retrieval. Right? Now, we live with the illusion that um, we're going to remember things, um, all things that we've experienced, and that we're going to remember them accurately. And I'm going to start with a demonstration here of a case where you have seen something, a stimulus, thousands and thousands of times in your life, but you can't remember what it looks like. So let's change slides, and you'll see here uh, nine different stop signs. Now, obviously, you've seen stop signs all over the place. Which one's the accurate stop sign? Which one of these figures looks the way real stop signs look like in the US? So go ahead. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine? Which is the right stop sign? Oh, wait, go ahead. Did you guess? What, what number did you guess? Yeah. Remember, stop signs, you've seen them thousands of times, and yet you're struggling now, aren't you? Well, it turns out that the right answer was uh, this stop sign. Now, you could say, okay, I didn't remember exactly what the font was or exactly what the border was. Um, those little details, they're not all that important. When you see, if you saw any of these stop signs, you'd stop, right? You wouldn't blow through the stop sign and then go, yeah, but the trim's not right or the font's a little different. No, if you see one of these stop signs, you're going to stop. The details that we can't remember, it's the stuff that's unimportant, right? If I put up blue and green stop signs, you would know that was wrong because stop signs are red and white and that's what we look for. But whether it's one kind of font or a different kind of font, we don't care. Stuff that you don't care about, you don't remember, right? So what's important to you is going to shape your memory. What you understand before is going to shape your memory. Studies of memory are fascinating, and we're going to spend several weeks, many units, talking about all sorts of different aspects of memory. So, there we are.